Yo guys, it's TG Tracks and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make an Afro Swing beat. Now I pulled up one of my old beats, you guys probably have heard this beat before, but I think this beat is the best example I can use on how to make an Afro Swing beat. So with Afro Swing, it's all about the bounce, it's all about how people are going to react to it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to play the melody and then um, I'm also going to play the car melody as well with it and I'm going to show you how the melody should be sounding. So that's the main melody with a um, with a flute, and um, this is I think a guitar, a ukulele, one of those or a harp. I think it's a harp. But um, yeah, you want to be using instruments, the um, the world type of instruments, so real ethnic proper instruments like that so don't be using synthetic sounds try to get the realistic sounds for afro swing obviously it's inspired by afro beats it's not quite afro beats it's got a little twist to it it's got a uk sort of twist to it so make sure that when you're using instruments for the main melody and the counter melody the bass even the bass you can have a guitar as the bass like a low deep guitar do you know what i'm saying that's what you want and you can have shakers as well can sometimes have hi hats. I've got hi hats in this one, so yeah, I'm gonna play this and then you'll see how it sounds. <laughs> to the melody so the melody let me solo this this is what it'd be looking like and then um, i'm gonna show you the shakers as well so i'm gonna solo the shakers and the reason why i use shakers more in afro swing beats than hi-hats is because shakers they just have that afro feel to it and if you go and hear afro beats they will most of the time have shakers in them so make sure when you're making afro swing beats have shakers in them but it's really up to personal preference so you don't have to have shakers but if you want that sound i would suggest using shakers and with the shakers i put a delay on it so i put delay reverb you know using the stop plugin so yeah EQ it a little bit as well, just take out the low end. So that's what I did for that. And um, what else have we got? We got the snaps as well. So instead of claps or snares, I use the snap with the finger clicks. So I'm gonna solo this. Put a little bit of reverb on that. Alright, cool. So that's what the snap sounds like. So, with these beats, make sure that the BPM is around 98, 100, 90, sometimes 80. So, that's that's where you can get that bounce from. And you can do a lot of things with the Afro Swing beats. So, when you're making Afro Swing beats, you can literally put the swing. This is what the name comes from. You can put the swing on it if you want. So, it will sound slightly different. So, this is what it sounds like with the swing. <laughs> swing it sounds a lot more like an afro beat which is what i suggest and you can do many things with the swing so what i can do i can do a create automation clip and then instead of having it throughout the whole beat i can have it in certain parts and just be creative with it so let's say i wanted it in the the verses i'll just put it here like that make it high let's just see if i'm doing anything all right cool and then in the verses it can change up and the reason why I'm going to make sure your beat changes up is because it makes the beat sound a lot more interesting. You don't want the beat to sound the same throughout the whole thing. You want you want change-ups. 
what I'm saying? You don't have to do too much. You don't have to do too much automation. It's like it's not like you're making dubstep or something. So just have enough. So this is what it sounds like. And it's gonna go into the actual swing. That's the max automation though. So you can turn this down. And you can copy the value. So if you want it to be the same, instead of trying to do it manually, just right click and do paste value. Let's see what sounds like now. Yes, what you can do for the swing bit now when it comes to eqing you don't have to do too much with the eqing and i say this is because since it's an afro beat and the instruments you want it kind of raw I'm not too raw to the point the frequencies are clashing with each other but raw enough where it sounds realistic and it doesn't sound like you've cut out too much out of the instrument itself you don't want the instruments to be sounding thin you want it to sound full so when you're EQing them, don't cut out too much unless unless it's clashing with another instrument. So in my case with the snaps, I had to cut out most of it from the low end because if I show you the snap, it has a lot of low end to it. So you can hear it, and you can even see it as well. So I do it. Here. Now I'm gonna slowly turn this up. That's a bit too much. So about there. There is about the safe spot that you want it. And then with the shakers, this is something I also did some EQ on. So not too much though. This is really where the shakers frequency is, is from up and mid to treble. And now if I was to do it lower, you can see there's not much coming from the lower bit. And yeah, I don't really have to EQ this instrument as okay as it is, but I like to just make sure that I can get the cleanest sound possible. So I, I always take out the low end anyway. Same thing with the reverb, put a delay. But this is what sounds about the delay. Not oh, the re reverb as well. Sounds kind of boring, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it sounds good, but I feel like the reverb and the delay did add something extra to the beat. So that's why I added delay and reverb. It's just small effects that can really change how the beat sounds, you know what I'm saying? So make sure that you're doing what you can to make sure your beat sounds good, you know what I'm saying? And with the hi hats, I don't think I did too much EQ in this. I just did a little bit of EQ in. With hi hats, you don't really need to do much. They're already in the high frequency. It's not really going to clash, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there is some drum kits where you have a hi hat and it does clash a bit. But for the most part, don't need to do too much EQ in it. I just take out the low end and then raise the high end a little bit just to make that sharp, make it more sharp and stand out. So if I was to EQ this again, I'll do this. And it's not only here you can EQ, you can EQ through here as well. I actually use both of these. So see, it sounds a lot sharper now. You can turn the volume down a little bit. So that's what I would have done with this hi-hat. And with the kicks, kicks, I make sure that the kick is punchy, but not too punchy to the point where it just sounds like I'm using drill kicks or trap beat kicks in the afro swing beat if that makes sense you know what i'm saying so the, yeah the kicks are punchy in this but it sounds good with the bass you know what i'm saying don't make it too punchy to the point it's just standing out and everything else is just it's just not sounding right with the kick and what i normally do i mix around the kick so yeah it's maxed out but <laughs> it sounds good you know what i'm saying 
so there ain't really any rules when it comes to eqing i'm showing you what i do with my eqing do you know what i'm saying as long as the beat sounds good that's all that matters so don't be listening to these people who are telling you like oh you need to do this you have to do this you have to do that not necessarily because music is you're meant to experiment with the stuff you're meant to try out new things you know what i'm saying so just do what you can to make the beat sound good now the melodies and the counter melodies what i like to do i like to make sure it has its own space it's really a mixing tutorial <laughs> so i'm gonna show you actually let me take these off let me take off everything i'm gonna show you what it sounded like before and after so it's a big difference so now if i make this have this one on only that's the you um the harp so if i put the reverb on the harp it kind of gives it that effect and then also imager is just gonna make sure i have the dynamics right so if i turn this on now it's got more range the sound spreading throughout the room mode so this is basically a picture of a room and it's showing you how the sound spreads around it so i like to make sure the melody is wide like that and then i've got the flute as well now i'll go to eq okay so yeah so this is what it sounds like without the eq it's kind of dry now i'll turn the eq on sounds a lot better so i'm also going to put the reverb on as well it sounds way more realistic now so that's what you want to be doing with these beats just make sure that your instruments sound realistic especially in afro swing beats but yeah i think that's it for the tutorial so if you liked the tutorial obviously like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this one